here. We'll be pulling into the Metro PCS store. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Good. Did you renew your tag? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sticker on there, 7 and 19. I got to pick it up today. Is this your car? Yeah. It's not a lease? Okay. Do you have the old registration by chance? It looks like it in your hand. Your Roscoe? Would you renew it online or? No, I had it went Friday. They said it won't be ready to today. Okay. That's what I'm hearing that now. All right. You got your license with you, sir? Yeah. How are you doing today? Doing great. So far, so good? Yeah. Waiting in rush hour traffic with everybody else? Yeah. Okay. So far, additionally, it's first month. All right. Yeah, because I guess after you, it takes so time to come. So I went Friday, and they closed Saturday, okay. Sunday. So well, if, if you wait to renew after it expires, yeah, then yeah. they charge you a little bit extra. But they said it's going to be ready today? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing there now, sir. I paid for it. Oh, you went to tag store instead of the yeah, DMV? Yeah. Okay. $105. For one year. <laughs> All right. All right, let me double check on that. I'll be right back with you. Okay. All right. Ah. Hey, Cody. The aggravator is talking. Is that what she said? Yeah. He's going to want Why is she holding there for you, though? Let's see. Give me a hard time. No, I haven't run them yet. Oh, do you want the air still? You're 83, right? Yeah. You still want the air? Hold on one second. All right. I just stopped him because of the tag. Yeah, yeah. She said, I think he's got a 99 frag installed. All right, I'm going to go over to records. She don't have to hold it. 83, I'll be on records. You can clear the air. So far, air 10 Road patrol tax three. Special tax three. Special events three. CID common. Traffic. Simplex district three. Blank channel. Blank channel. BCM countywide 13. BCM countywide 14. District three. Records. Charlie, three uh, records with a 2 9 check. Ah. Roscoe, step out of the car. Put that up out there. I need you to put your hands behind you. Behind you. Like you're praying. Like Just you're praying. Palms together, sir. Right now you're just being detained. You may have a warrant. It's not confirmed yet, but until they confirm. Yeah, um, Do you know that? No. I'm under Sound, pain. That doesn't sound familiar. My, I got a dad, but. You got a what? A dad, the same name. Okay, well, they're going to confirm. So just hold up right here. Relax. No. Just going to search. You got any weapons on you? No, sir. You got anything sharp on you? No. I mean, I'm... I'm retired. I don't... I live a clean, clean life. What you do for I played in the NFL. No shit. Yeah. You do what? I played in the NFL. Oh. Yeah, I live a clean life. I mean, Who'd you play for? Buffalo Bills at the University of Miami. Where's the palm? Buffalo Bills. What years did you play for the Bills? Um, I retired 2012. 2012? Mm -hmm. All right, let me check your hat. What position did you play? Receiver and partner car. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, come back here with me. I'll grab your phone. Have you got into, uh, have you had any involvement with the police lately? No. Anything I'm... about stalking? No. You have any issues with a girlfriend or something like that? Does that sound familiar? No, I just talked to my lawyer. I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm like literally confused. All right. Have a seat. You want the window up or down, sir? Grab your hand real quick. Oh. Would you like the window up or down? Down, sir. Okay. I'm trying to see what so, happened. All right. Kick your feet in there. Are they still holding it for us? No. I told her to clear it. No, I didn't hear that. All right. 
Thank you, sir. Again. Oh, you got it? You said window down, right? Yes. All right. Thank you. I'm just waiting to hear. When I hear, I'll let you know. Can I stand up real quick when I'm at surgery? No. Just. No, sir. Charlie 31. Hold on. Charlie 31. We see your section last night. En route, thank you. I'm on records. They need me. This is his. Well, if you have me as nice as this one, I'll stop you on that one. Charlie, eight one? Yeah. No, I have you on one. You want to slip? This is the way for Yes. I'm back to yeah. the 14 down to the jail, sir. Thank you. Can I get your operator number and the WC number, please? Uh, we wait for it to confirm before we... Uh, November 2019, 9 Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll just... Number seven, just no sense if it's not. I'll check it out. There's no, no rush. Just, yeah, appreciate it. You get to eat, yeah? If it confirms, we'll do our, you know, thing for the tow. If not, he'll be on his way, I guess. But, uh, it says uh, just entered August 1st, so more than likely it's uh, good. What's his name? My son's football freak, he knows everybody. I'll be like, you know, he'll be like, yeah, I played for them. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what's going on? You got a warrant in the system. And they're confirming it. Because sometimes when warrant... I never got served. I don't know. Well, you wouldn't on a warrant. If somebody makes a complaint against you for something, it just says, uh... Yeah, You're looking at what I'm looking at. It says something to do with intimidation. It's your name, your date of birth, and your car listed on the warrant. However... I'm just waiting to hear. They're calling BSO to see if it's valid. If it's valid, you got to go with me. Yeah, I guess he's gonna. He's he said he's gonna. Uh, but he's gonna wait for your confirmation and then do the slip for you. Okay. Because I just got. I'm gonna go get gas. Okay. If you're good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, he's good. You had to have had some sort of interaction with the police. No, I haven't, sir. Have you been in an argument, in a fight no. with, usually it's, and I'm not going to say usually, most of the time it has to do with a, a, an ex-wife or a girlfriend. It says intimidation stash stalking. Something sound familiar? No. Okay. All I can tell you is this warrant was entered on August 1st, which was 12 days ago, 11 days ago. I can tell you it's out of BSO. There's two counts. One was uh, aggravated stalking, and the second charge was written threats to kill somebody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because... I I'm just telling you what I'm reading. It. See it? I mean, I've never met you. I, I'm just telling you what's on the computer. No, 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 no. I'm just telling you what's on the computer. You sure you want that window down? Because with that window down, you're not getting any AC. All right. Can I make a call or not right now. This isn't going to take very long. I got your hat, I got your wallet, and I got your... You have two cell phones? Yes. Okay, I got them both. If they are good, you just got to go over and see the judge. Right now? 
But my thing is, like, I never been, I don't, I don't have no relics of it. I have two daughters, and I don't, I, I mean, there's nothing I can say I'm here now. I mean, that's when the warrant was issued. It didn't say when the offense occurred. Or when, you know what I mean? So what you have to wait to hear from, like? The dispatcher is calling. Because I'm Fort Lauderdale. Our dispatcher is okay. calling who holds the warrant, which is BSO, the Sheriff's Department, to see if it's good. If it's good, we're going to go see the judge. If it's not good, you're going to get in your car and be on your way. Okay, nine. Sorry. That's crazy. Your call sign again, please. Go get my decal and everything. I don't, I don't know nothing about nothing. Wow. Hey, I'm just confirming myself too. You know, you said your your father's the same name. Yeah, but I wasn't. I'm not aware of none of this. This, this is new. Well, like I said, this just got put in the system 11 days ago, so less than two weeks ago. And when your tag popped up, you know, for the expiration. You still live in Davie? Yes. Uh, drive? Yes. See, that's the address that's on the warrant. My address is... My apartment is not 209. Your apartment's what? That's apartment 209. Yeah. Right now, can you put me in Well, as soon as you get fingerprinted, yeah, because you have to go through the process. How long does that take? Not very long. Mondays are slow. I mean... Not far away. Our station? We're at 11 Ave. Station's two blocks that way. At 13 Ave. Now we'll be there in a minute. Now, how long will they have to hold me for That I don't know. I don't know what's going on with your case. This is just a warrant with another agency. It has nothing to do with Fort Lauderdale. It's just you just happen to be stopped. Same thing could have happened on 95 if the state police would have stopped you. How warrant go? I'm asking because I don't know. No, I'm, I'm yeah, trying to I answer. Well, they'll explain it all to you. I don't know why the warrant was issued. Were you supposed to do something and then didn't? Were you supposed to not talk to somebody and you did? I mean, there, we could sit here all day and, and throw out what ifs. Yeah, I, I just don't know because I don't have access to that information. All I have is a case number and a warrant number. You can. So that's a process for like eight hours I have to shoot. <laughs> that's on my hands. I mean, that's Broward. But if you go see the judge, they'll do something with your bond. This is just uh, the bond on the warrant. How much the bond? Uh, 50000 How much that be? I can't. I don't want to give you a price because I don't do that. I mean, we don't, we don't do bonds at Fort Lauderdale. That's all done with the sheriff's office. Whether they accept 10%, I'm not sure. Everybody is different. It's not like... You get caught for this, or your bonds this, and this is what we do. Every every case is different, and I don't want to tell you it's going to be this when it might be lower or it might be higher. I don't know. And that's and that's it. When we get over to the sheriff's office, they're going to be able to pull the jacket or pull the file and tell you exactly what it's about because it's their warrant. We don't hold the warrant. So just give me a little bit here, and we'll get. Uh, India 50. India 50. So I, I, I wasn't sure if um, he'd gotten back to me or not. I was, uh, I was uh, wondering. So you're, you're on your way to the tag office on Griffin Road? Yes, right now.
when we get over to BSO, they'll give you that opportunity. But anyway, you can get it out of the way, whatever is going on, you'll be able to put it behind you now. They're doing it now. No, oh, it's instant. They don't. They know we're out here on the road. They 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 got to do it over the computer though. That's the thing. So there's a record of it. But if most of the time, if Charlie, two seconds. Year, I didn't hear you, sir. I said, if most of the time, it's sure. That's what it is. No, that's just that's just protocol. That's how they have to do it. They send a message over the computer, and then. I don't know what you mean, sir. How long have you lived in Broward County? I've been there two years. Well, I've been in Broward for a while. As far as where I'm at now. And I'm in an apartment. And we got 209. That's just on the warrant. Don't worry about that. Because that's what's on your license, 209. Yeah, I've been out of 209. Yeah. Just moved, same complex, just different. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My car has to be right here. No, it was going to have to go with us. Because we're responsible for it until you get it get it back. So it goes to our. You have all the information if that if that's what it's going to come to. Oh, so someone can see the judge the same day with the time frame that we in. With the time frame that we're in, because you know, nine to five, courts close, and then uh, you have to post bond after that. So I have to bond out. No, a bond is. Give me a second. No, say you got pulled over at midnight. You could post bond and not have to go to the Broward Jail. That just assures you're going to go to court. That's all the bond's for. 25, he's also 54. No, you're not going to have to post bond because you're going to court. A bond just assures the court that you're going to show up because you're not going to lose your money. That's all a bond's ever for. Right, right, right. <laughs> I don't know who's on records. I don't know who's on records today, but you got three officers ahead of me going. You heard anything back? You heard anything back? And she goes, "You got three ahead of you. Stand by." So she's either really slow or she's really busy. You're not going into overtime. Yeah, I know Koppelman was out with somebody on 95. So. I know, but I'm just doing the paperwork. I can hit that delete button right there if needed. So when we get to the station, you don't have to sit in the car. We can just go through it. Double checking to make sure, ma'am. It's a very common last name and first name. Stand by, please. I'm waiting for Grandma here to speed things up. You want me to tell you what you want to hear, or you want, to, you want me to tell you the truth? I don't know. It just depends on how busy they are. I, I, I can't sit here and tell you, yeah, you're going to go in, you're going to be out by 5.30. You might go in and be out by 4.30. I, I don't know. That's a whole different agency. I can tell you what's going to happen here. That's what, yeah, like you said, you might come back and say they are unable to confirm at this time. Then I'll shake your hand and send you on your way. But by law, we have to confirm it because that's like our job. But don't someone have to be served with paper? No. No. It's just like, just to happen? When people get served with papers, it's more than likely civil, you know, like a, a, a civil matter. Or a, or a court notice. 
It very well could be. I've seen warrants in the system 10, 15 years old. But if you have no police contact and there's no reason, you know, to run your name or tag, it could go on for years. It just depends on what it is. You said you played for who? I played for Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills? How long ago was that? 2012. Well, that's not that long ago. What is that, seven years? Yeah. Like, I, this caught me literally off guard. I, I thought, I knew it was going to be for my tag. That's why I had everything ready. What's under your tag? You got another tag on there? You know, that's just a flex for Oh, like an advertisement for the dealer, probably? Yeah, yeah, off the All right. How long you had that car? So just a couple years old when you got it? Yeah. Looks in awesome shape. You take good care of it. Charlie had three records. Hey, I had to go back to Maine for... Uh, for a second, I just want to make sure you didn't call me to on this confirmation. Yeah. You're All right, we're gonna go see the judge, sir. Now, your registration and your receipt for your tags—you want them left in your console? Yeah. And I'm taking your hat. So, your. You want me to check with this guy and see if he wants you know postal, or you want to take? It? No, because if it gets broke into, then it's on me. All right. Yeah, they just confirmed it. We're gonna go see the judge. All right. I'm asking you what you want to do with your receipt. Just put it in your console. I got your two phones, your wallet, and your hat, and your ID. All right. You got the keys? Do you have to see a judge or magistrate? And I don't even know what the... Charlie, I didn't hear you. Would they put me in a holding room or something? Well, I'll go over that with you. Don't worry about that. You got the keys? No. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, 29 check okay. on a white mail. Do you have your house keys or anything on there that you need? Hey, he's got a house key or an apartment key I'm going to take. You just want to take, yeah. take the fob for the Mercedes and I'll yeah. take the rest. First name's going to be... Cody, Charlie, Oscar, Delta, Yankee, middle initial, Alpha, last name, Lima, Alpha, Whiskey, Let me get in the car. Oscar, November, date of birth. Special record, District 3. We already talked about that. The bond and when it's needed and when it's necessary. It's not necessary now because you're going to see the judge. So let's Get this over with, and uh, no, I know if you've never been through it before, it's overwhelming and confusing. I get it. As soon as we get you over to the BSO, we're going to my station two blocks away. You're gonna take your picture, they got to inventory your property to make sure you get all your license, your credit card, your wallet, your two phones, and all that. And then, uh, we'll take you right over there. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I don't think there's anybody ahead of you. It's kind of slow today. Charlie 3. Charlie 83. 1519. One mail. Through that gate and we're here. I got both your phones. Absolutely. They got reserve officers here. They're going to do your property and inventory everything to make sure that you get everything back. So, yeah, just don't give them a hard time. Not that you would because you've been really 
pleasant. Um, but just let them go through the things, and you know they're going to pat you down again. It's just what they need to do, and uh, take your picture, and then we'll go from there. Well, it takes ten minutes to prop do your property and stuff, so just. Uh, yeah, you're going over to Broward Sheriff's, which is over here, like uh -huh. Andrews and the river. Uh -huh. I had to get like a van, police van and stuff to go over there. I don't know what they take you over. If it's just you, they usually just take you in a car. Eighty-three, I got to roll your window up. Huh? You're over here. You already had one. Somewhere. Huh? Very. Come on, sir. Who'd you play for? He was asking. How you doing? I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm. See, I got a warrant. What you say I got? I mean, We're going to go over that in there. Yeah, because this... Who'd you play for? Buffalo. Buffalo. Uh, yeah. Just messing. Yeah. All right, I got your phone. Got your wallet. Can I make a call? Yeah. These guys run the show. These guys run the show here. Okay. So just listen to them. Make it easy. For right now. The guy in the greens just one ahead of you. If you want to sit right here. I'm not far away right there. But if you need to get a contact, phone number, whatever, they'll let you write it down. I mean. Sure. One more time. What a bond is, it just assures you're going to go to court. Like say you go to, like say you go in front of the judge today and the judge says, okay, Mr. Roscoe, I want to see you back here on September 5th, okay? And if you don't show up September 5th, they're going to issue a warrant for fail failure to appear. On the warrant, they'll more than likely have a bond. Say the bond's 10000 And then you get stopped like you did today, outside of the court operating hours, I get you, yeah, you have to post that. Like today, you go in and you can tell the judge, look. But that's the thing about going in today. They're going to pull your file and pull the warrant and see what it's for. They'll be able to sit down with you and go, okay, this, this was the allegation, this was the claim, this is what didn't happen, this is why the warrant was issued. And then you go, okay, now I remember. Or it wasn't me, or whatever the case may be, because every, everything's different. 1050, 1000 North ICW. I mean, I'm okay. It's just the fact that I'm going through this inconvenience. And it is. And, you know, I get it. I've been doing this for thirty over 30 years. I get it. There's no convenient time to do this. Yeah, like, you know, like people can just say what they want to say because of. And sometimes that happens. And it's crazy. Like, you pull me over, I'm thinking it's my. I want to my. And that's what it was, because we're into August now, and you're displaying July. And then, and then I showed you, you know, when you run the tag, this information pops up. So. All right, let's go up to the front row. Okay. Just have a seat right here. When they tell me I can take them off, you, I'll take them off you. Like I said, this is their this is their house. Sir. Yes, sir. 
in the lobby. I don't know if they just say aware of being at the wall. I'm about to enter on the side. Warm. It's a bit warm though, yeah. 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 It's going to rain in a minute. And then it's going to be warm and muggy. I was on the um, Las Charlie, Olas. And then the sun did it rain for two seconds. It was coming off the beach. And it was the U-turn. Like the weather was starting to freeze. So far, it's going to be 1883 Southwest 4th Street. 1883 Southwest 4th Street. Or something in the parking lot. Two black zones. 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 Over the glass get over there, they'll be able to tell you. So just hang in there. Plus Olis and Andrews, right there. In the courthouse just south of the bridge there. Mine, 1771. I'm well, sir. Probably doing better than you. Oh, man. Yeah. And what I'm going to be able to ask you, Bill, probably 5.8 million bills. We're going to tie that to my firm. Do I do this? Relevant for me, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you have that case on that right now? Uh, no. Okay. Well, holding on to the fence. Take a step back, spread your feet. Okay, please. Charlie three. All right, let me have Charlie eighty three. Can I get my case number, please? Have a seat on the bench. Take one three two seven zero six. One, one three two seven zero six. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got a case number for you, sir. One three two seven zero six. I gave the warrant with your booking number as well. Awesome. Oh, you have the warrants? Yes, sir. All right, that's the booking number up top. Okay. As soon as I get the okay, I'll go put that in and get a printout. We'll get on with the day. Okay.